everybody y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. And today I'm gonna to be showing you some things that I picked up at a thrift store to resell online for a profit. It's clothing and I think one home goods item. I go to Salvation Army when they have 50% off days and all their clothes, shoes, purses, and linens are 50% off. There's a lot of resellers there. There's a lot of people there in general, right when the doors open up. And I got there later this time, but I still found some things. I stayed away from the shoes because quite frankly, everybody had found the good ones already. That's like the first thing to go. But I did find some good clothing and in my favorite thing to sell, which is plus size. And we'll start with this item here. It is a brand that I've only picked up a couple times, but has sold well for me. Like it sells fairly quickly, not for huge amounts. I think it's Bila or Bila, I guess, but it's um, XXL is the size. It's beautiful floral top. It's like a tunic. I've thought about keeping it for myself or at least wearing it once or twice. And after I wash it, I'm going to try it on and see because I love it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's got some strings on the sleeves there I can cut. And I think it is hang dry. I try to avoid anything hang dry myself, but this is that really lightweight rayon. So it usually doesn't take too long. It's hand wash. I'll put it in like a laundry bag and wash it on delicate. And I already looked up everything in advance to see what I want to list things for. So let me pull up Vendu, which is where I originate all my listings and push out to eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. They have a lot more platform channels as well. And I have tried others, but these are the ones I'm sticking to for now. I'll occasionally put something on Facebook Marketplace. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna list this for $25. The ASP, which is average sales price, was $16.39, and I looked up specifically Bila Floral XXL Top. That's so just in this size and style. I believe that's what I looked up. It's um a $16 ASP and a 44% sell-through rate. So I'm going to put how I calculate sell-through rate right here. It's the way that it's done in eBay's product research tool as well. It is the way it technically should be done because you're taking into consideration what's still listed currently. So you can only sell 100% of what has been listed in the last three months. You can't sell 200% of what's been listed. But there is like an easy math way of doing it where you leave that what's still listed out of it and don't take it as a true percentage, that's fine too. Basically that's telling you it's got 50% or higher resell rate when you find anything that's over 100%, 100%. So that's fine. It still tells you basically the same thing, but when I say 44% is good, that's because it's just under 50%, which is 100% in other people's minds when they're calculating it differently. Does all that make sense? If you watched other YouTubers and they're like, oh, this is a 400% sell-through rate, it's not possible. <laughs> but they're just leaving out part of the math. That's fine. They know it has a good sell-through rate. And this had a good sell-through rate too. So my average cost of goods for everything, um, I don't think I figured it up that way. I think I did it on a per item basis. And that, that one cost me $4.32. This next one is Mark New York by Andrew Mark. And I don't pick this up in the smaller sizes, but I picked this up because it is plus size. It is a 1X and it's a cute blouse um, with these shoulder pads and a mock neck and these billowy sheer sleeves that are cuffed. So I think this would be really cute for like a holiday party with some dress pants or a nice skirt or just some dressy event. I don't have anything to wear this to, <laughs> but it's it was in great condition as well. 
and it cost me $3.24. The ASP was $22. The sell-through was lower at 14%, so probably not the greatest pickup. I still think it'll sell based on style, and I'm going to list it for $30 since the ASP is $22. Leaves me room for some offers, and you have to remember that's the average. Some things are going to sell for as low as $0.99 cents on eBay or as high as whatever. So I don't price things at the average. I'll usually do a little bit higher. I needed to get some like good fall clothes in my closet. And this is another item that I think will do really well for fall. It's a long sleeve animal print tunic very soft it's kind of got that it's kind of got the same hemline as what i'm wearing right now which is where it flares out you could wear some leggings or anything really um, it is logo by Lori goldstein and it is a 2x did i even show you the andrew by andrew mark tag let me show you again just in case i don't think i did here it is I think it's okay to pick up in plus size, but you know, keep in mind that that sell through rate was pretty low on it. Let me look at this Lori Gold scene one, and I'll put some comps up here as well with each one of these. Um, so Lori Goldstein plus size tunics had a $17 ASP and an $18 sell through rate. So a little bit better than the last top, but still, you know, on the lower end of things. This is also something that I'm like, hmm, let me try it on and see how comfortable it is. You know, this is not a personal shopping trip, I promise. <laughs> I mean, I always keep those things in mind, but it cost me $3.24 as well. And I'm going to price this one for $25. Okay, next item, another good fall winter item. It's a new tag Lane Bryant sweater. It is... 26 to 28 and can you see the sparkles it's black with like silver yeah silver metallic threading in it and it's just a classic v-neck it's a longer length too I would say um depends on the body shape but yeah I would say that's a longer length Lane Bryant is something I do pick up there's a lot of it online, so I will be conscientious of style, condition, and those type, types of things. Lane Bryant sweater, new with tags. I looked up the ASP is $17 and a 5% sell-through rate. So that's where you're going to have a lot of competition, too. $4.32 is the cost of goods. I guarantee you there's probably thousands of Lane Bryant sweaters <laughs> that have been listed in the last um, three months. I'm going to list mine for 25. I know that this is a current style, that it's something that will sell during the holidays, if anything, because somebody wants a sparkly sweater for their holiday dinner. Um, again, just be conscientious of style. This next one is Susan Graver. This is a good bread and butter, especially for plus size. The last time I sold it, I had like a 3X and that top sold really fast. It was the same top, but in blue at the bottom instead of red. This one's only a 1X, but that last one in this style sold well, so I'm hopeful for this one. It's got that slinky kind of polyester fabric that doesn't wrinkle, so it's good for travel. You could wear this to work. You could wear dress it up or down for work or casual. Why am I sounding like a commercial for Susan Graver? I don't know. Like I'm on some infomercial or shopping network <laughs> all of a sudden. Maybe I missed my calling. What do y'all think? So this top has a $17 ASP. And I think I just looked up Susan Graver top and maybe I drilled down to plus size and a 16% sell through rate. I paid 432 and I'm going to list it at 25. These 
bread and butter, guys. Bread and butter. I didn't find any huge bolos. I did find some really cool vintage things that I think are going to do well. Okay, this is inside out because I was getting it ready to wash. I'll show you the tag first and then I'll flip it inside out. This is a vintage Spencer Alexis size 20 denim chambray dress and it's maxi length. It's got, um, it doesn't, I don't have the belt to it, which is unfortunate, but you could put any belt on this. Probably the belt that came with it was like just a little chambray tie thing anyway. I love this dress so much. I didn't really find comps for it. Cute Western cowgirl kind of country style. Just imagine yourself on a farm baking your own bread, <laughs> going and gathering eggs for chickens. <laughs> I don't know. Wearing with a pair of cowboy boots and a big chunky belt to go out dancing. <laughs> Just creating this whole image in my head. I think this is beautiful. And what did I say I was going to list it for? I think it was like 55 because I didn't see any um, comps for it. Beautiful. Love it. Put it back over there. So I'm going to list it for 55. I really tried to find comps but couldn't find any. I paid $324 for that dress. If you're learning anything or just enjoying watching or listening while you work, give me a thumbs up. Remember to do that either now or later, but it's better just to do it now. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And you can click the notifications bell too if you want to get a notification when I post something new. And I do almost daily videos. I'm trying, I'm trying to get to daily videos, but at the very least every other day. Okay, and then here's the other vintage dress I found. This one is also very, you know, Little House on the Prairie. Um, it is a maxi length collared corduroy shirt dress in this burgundy color, burgundyish brownish color. It does have a tie belt. Oh no, there's a little damage here at the waist where the belt goes in. That I didn't see. That's too bad. I would recommend somebody just take that belt out and use um, a regular belt, to be honest. It's kind of like it's run halfway through. And it's smocked here at the waist. Um, right here at the waist, it's smocked. So I think you could just take off that tie and either don't wear a belt or wear your own belt. Cause it's not even really right at the seam, but someone could sew it up. You could pin it. I don't know. I still think it's very cool. And this brand is nothing I'd heard of before. It's called Fads. Fads. But that tag looks so 80s. And it's a 22 and made in Hong Kong. It's a very light white weight corduroy though. So I just think that's gonna be a really cool one too. I did find comps of, of dresses similar to that one. Not in the same brand per se, but I'm gonna price that one at $40. It fell down. The ASP for similar dresses was $23 with an 18% sell through rate. My cost of goods was $4.32. For the most part, I was able to keep the fall theme going. Two more bags. This one I actually got on a different trip. It was a trip to Goodwill. It's an aloe jog bra, yoga bra, exercise bra. I've never found this brand before. Somebody had it laying in a place, you know, it was out of place, basically. And I like to look at the things that people leave laying around. I'm looking for scissors, by the way. Where in the hell did they go? I swear, I cannot keep these pair of scissors in here. 
I think I have another pair I've been hiding. So when I find the yellow handled ones, I'll know that they belonged in here. But now it's the blue handled ones. <laughs> I probably am the one who moved them. No one really has a reason to come in here but me. So I paid $4.99 for this. Wasn't on sale. Um, this brand of exercise bra seems to have a really good sell through rate. I don't know if it was supposed to have pads, but there are no longer any pads in it, so I'll have to do some research on that. I'm going to list it for $40. This style had a $26 ASP. Actually, that was for all aloe bras. 61% sell-through rate. So if I've overpriced it, I'll certainly take some offers. I have it priced at I mean, I paid $5.40, that was after tax, and then I have it priced at 40. What size is this? Small. It's over here. I couldn't find any other tag, any other care tag. I couldn't even find a place where it might have been ripped out. But I do think it's supposed to have pads because I don't have any pads, but it has the place for them. So I don't know where the, if anyone knows anything about aloe, bras let me know because I can't find where there would have been another tag okay here is another plus size item it is a torrid dress I was getting ready to be ready to launder these and so they're all crumpled up it's a torrid size 3x this is a faux wrap ribbed knit three-quarter sleeve Probably a knee length, maybe right over the knee. And it, the color is sort of a dark green. Somewhere between a teal and a dark green, but it's also got black in this, in the um, threading. So makes it a little bit darker. It's pretty lightweight, but it would still be good for fall with that ribbed knit detail on it. And it's a newer... Um, torrid piece from what I remember on the tag. It's the torrid mini, so I guess it's a mini dress above the knee, mini rib knit wrap dress. And I'm going to price it at $30. I paid $4.32. The ASP was $20 and a 20% sell through rate. $30, $30 to $40 is where I'll price torrid dresses depending on whether they're new with tags or more formal or more casual and more casual dresses that are in excellent conditions. I'm going to start at 30. Um, this is the one home goods vintage item. I think, oop, I just dropped a glass lid. I was in the middle of listing some pots and pans. Um, this is Winnie the Pooh. Looks upside down. Vintage Winnie the Pooh, and what is that called? A heffalump or something, right? And then you've got the woods, and there's Piglet and Pooh. It's so cute. What does it say? It says six pine trees, trap for heffalumps. So I guess they were trying to trap a, trap a heffalump. I've got, these are drapes. I've got two drapes. And then I don't know what this is. I thought it was a pillowcase but there's no opening. It's the size of a, like a standard pillowcase, but there's no opening. I thought it was like a sham. This does not open. None of this opens. So was it a wall hanging? Was somebody using it to like lay on a baby mat? Or what do you think it was? And I thought maybe these were homemade, and they, they may be. I didn't see any store tag. But the drapes have the top pocket, you know, for the curtain rod. I just, I don't know. I'm going to list them for $38. I paid $5.40. They priced the three pieces separately. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten this thing since I didn't know what it was, but I did think it was a pillowcase at the time. Okay, one more bag, and it's pretty full. And then I can show you a couple other things that I got at different stores. 
That back there, um, I mentioned it in a ship with me that day when I had gone thrifting. I picked that up. That's a Lafayette 148 New York um, burnout floral blouse. It's really pretty. It's a size medium, if anyone's interested. This is Relativity. Don't know the brand. Size 3X. But it's new with tags, and it's a um, cream-colored puffer vest. Here's the tag. It zips up, of course. And it's very thin, very lightweight. So I would say it's a little bit more for fashion than warmth. <laughs> but it will certainly keep you warm, too, if you're just in a... Like, a, like in Texas. This would be good for Texas. I'm going to go out rather than putting on a coat. This over a long sleeve is going to be warm enough. Again, I feel like I'm on an infomercial. I really am not trying to sell clothes here on this video, but if you're well, if you're singing anything you like, you're welcome to buy. Here's a really cool vintage item that I found. I didn't tell you anything about the what I was listing the relativity for. I'm going to list it for thirty. And the cost of goods, $324. I didn't put down any comps, comp information, but I think that might sell at like Macy's or something. This is a vintage Copacabana dress, and it's a 2X. I think it's so cute. Made in the USA tag. And it's a sleeveless tank dress maxi length or midi. I'd have to kind of measure it maybe to figure out the length. I think this is midi. Depends on your height, of course, but it's got, it's black. It's fading in this light a little bit, but it's got fish, flowers, very Hawaiian themed, or beach themed. I thought that was really cool. Just kind of like that t-shirt material. And the design is, feels like it's painted on. I wonder if it is. Or if it's like stamp printing, you know. I am going to list it for 38. I paid for 32. ASP was 20 and a 32% sell through rate. Again, keep in frame of the mind, keep in mind or with the frame of mind, what, how am I, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Keep in mind that it maxes at 130. It's pretty good. It's a third. <laughs> Almost at 32%. So I'm, uh, I, I do consider 30% and above good. This item is a new with tags, although it only has this tag. That talks about the handmade uniqueness of tie dyed products or something dip dyed. Um, but it's a Land's End and it's a large petite. Where did I get this one? Yeah, I got this one at Salvation Army as well. But it's a new with tag faux wrap knee length dress. A pretty peachy pink. This is more of a summer item as is the Copa Cabana. That's okay. I'll list it any time of year. I do try, like if I have a bunch of things to list, I'll try to pick out seasonally appropriate things, but people go on vacations to warmer climates all year round. Lands in dress, I'm gonna list it for 30. I paid 324, the ASP was 21, and the sell through rate was 24%. This is also more <clears throat> spring. I, it, the colors are actually kind of fall, but this was very 90s Y2, well, not Y2K, very 90s, because I had a dress very similar to this in the early to mid 90s. And it's a size, I can see 20. It is vintage. It's John Phillips Woman, and it buttons all the way down the front. So someone could actually, I've got it unbuttoned in fact. Someone could actually wear this as a duster, which I think would be really cute, you know, open over something else. Or you can wear it buttoned down. 
Hopefully I checked to see that it had all its buttons because they're these special fabric covered ones. Yeah, it does. I think a lot can be done with this dress for sure. Wear it over a short sleeve shirt, um, like 90s style or as a duster. I think it'd be really pretty over a black dress. John Phillips, I'm not sure I found much in that brand. Let's see if I had any comps to speak of. I called it the nine, the John Phillips 90s floral sleeveless dress. I paid $324. My lit price is going to be $30. ASP is $23. So I guess I did find some similar and an 11% sell through rate. I think this is going to sell based on style. All right, this one is one I was kind of debating whether I should have picked it up. Pendleton, I have hit or miss with clothing on it, um, unless it's like a cool sweater. This is a size 16. It's virgin wool. I don't know why they kept this tag on it. Maybe these were never worn because this was on there. Um, exclusive fabric woven in our own Pendleton Mills and it's tacked on just you know with those little bitty plastic tags but these are black with a white pinstripe a straight leg really nice dress pants they feel really great too that it's very very soft 100% lined which is nice when you're wearing some itchy wool so these are great for work in the fall winter I gotta tell you what I'm gonna, I keep forgetting about the tell part. I'm just doing the show and not the tell in some of these cases. All right, I'm gonna list these at 30 as well. I paid 432, you notice my prices are like 342 or 432, um, similar prices. Uh, the ASP was $19 and the 4% sell through rate. Eesh. I'm hoping that'll improve as the season gets colder because, ugh. but you know, who's buying wool pants right now? And this is a silk and rayon Doncaster. You see that brand a lot with like coats and blazers and such. Um, I don't know if this is vintage. I kind of think it is, but I don't know for sure. It's a size 18. And I just love this rainbow tweed. I've sold several blazers like this before. Um, the last time I picked one up, it didn't sell as quickly. And so I was debating whether I was going to get this one. And I just liked it too much. And the price was pretty good. And it's silk as well, um, which I think elevates it a bit. Doncaster Silk Rainbow Tweed Blazer. ASP of $33 with a 4% sell through rate. I'm going to list it for $40 and my cost of goods is $324. It's got pockets. Little hand pockets. You could also wear that kind of as a winter coat because it's got the kind of hand pockets that you would put your hands in for a coat or a jacket versus a blazer. All right, another hawaiian -y style type thing, Hawaiian shirt. Brand is Bermuda Bay and it's an XXL. This is a men's. It's 100% silk, hold on. <coughs> and I loved the floral print on it. Oh, there are a lot of these that sold and listed, so I don't think the sell through was great. I'm gonna list it for $25. It's really, a neat green. It's not really being captured as well. It looks a little more chartreuse, like a light chartreuse in person. It costs $4.32. I'm going to list it for $25. The ASP was only $12 and the sell through rate was crappier at 10%. So that's why I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't have picked it up, but 
100% silk Hawaiian shirt and a beautiful print is going to be hard for me to pass up um, in a larger size, too. I think almost everything I bought was, you know, considered plus size, wasn't it? Except for that aloe bra, which was at a different trip. Only the other thing I bought at that Goodwill trip was two books for myself. Oh, and that large petite dress. Here's another, whoo, excuse me. <laughs> another vintage plus size item. The brand is called Bryline Woman. And the size is really worn. I'm gonna need to take a picture and zoom in, but I think when I could see it before, it was at 20. Bryline Woman Collection. This brand on itself wasn't doing much, but I just loved this long tunic. I mean, this is a really long tunic. Look at, let me hold it up this way. You can see it's a really long tunic. And it's got this Asian inspired button closure here and beautiful red and white. Let's see, where did I find out on this? I'm going to list it for 20. I paid $324. ASP was $13 with a 6% sell through rate. When it comes to vintage, I don't expect a high sell through rate on most items, unless it's something specific people are looking for right now. It's usually going to take longer to sell. So, like this and this, this, this. And maybe even those two maxi dresses, although I think those will sell faster just because of the length and the style on those. But we'll see. We'll see. And because they're plus size, it's harder to find cute vintage stuff in plus size, too. And any, any size, um, I like to pick up vintage, but man, if I can find vintage plus size. Here's another shirt that I'm like, I'm going to wash it and try it on. It's skies are blue curvy. And this did have a pretty good sell through if I remember correctly. It's got these three quarter pleasant peasant sleeves. That's kind of a weird thing though, isn't it? A pretty like um, rose pink. Are you bringing me an iced tea? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Fresh iced tea. Yes. Bye. Thank you so much. Okay, I think, oh, did I, I didn't tell you about Skies or Blue, did I? Let's see, Skies. And then I have one item left that is a Bolo brand. I'm going to list it for 18 The cost of goods was $324. ASP was $12, and the sulfur rate was only 14%. When I saw it in store, it was higher, I tell you. It does happen. Okay, so I can get it out of the bag. These are a small size, they look like, but they are UFOs. I've ordered my first pair of UFOs. I cannot wait. What size are these? It's right here. It is a women's seven, men's five. So yeah, I'll definitely list these under the women's. These recovery slides have sold very quickly for me in the past. I've sold two pair, one exactly this colorway. It's a little bit crinkled there, but it's not like cracked or anything. So I think it just got kind of bent. So I'll just make sure I take good pictures of that. This brand is excellent. It's another one of those brands that's supposed to be Good for problem feet so I have purchased my first pair I cannot wait and I would have bought them pre-owned but I don't know what size I am so I didn't want to have to go through that I want to be able to return them and they were having a sale actually which can hurt resale you know don't put your shit on sale <laughs> let me keep it really expensive and let me resell it uh ufos these are the Ufos Ua Lux Slide Sandals in Latte. That's that color. It's like a brownish, goldish color. And these are recovery slides. I'm going to price them at $45. I 
I paid $432. My ASP is $32 and it's got a 72% sell through rate. That's great. Someone say that's over 100%. That's good. So this is a Bolo Ufos. And if you want to see this on the sides, and then sometimes you'll just see that. And they do have tennis shoes and other shoes and things like that. I cannot wait until mine come so I can try them on and I hope they work well for me. I got some with like an adjustable top, which I think will help because I do have, you know, some issues with my feet and, and I think it'll help with it being adjustable so I can, and it's a hook and loop closure. All right, I'll let you guys know if I love them myself, but I know they sell really well, 72% sell through rate. That's everything. I'll put the total here of how much I spent, how much I think I can make if everything sells full price. Um, I always leave some room for, for uh, offers though. And once I get all this stuff listed, sometimes I change the price. Sometimes I'll price it lower if I find a flaw. Sometimes I'll raise it if I see that I'll, you know, if I recheck things and I'm like, oh man, I've got, you know, a colorway or something that is something everyone's looking for. I don't think any of those will necessarily apply, but like that denim dress, I may raise the price of that one. I think I said it was going to sell for 55. I may try to increase that a little bit. I don't know. I'm here to sell things, right? Not just store things. Okay, guys, have a good day and just keep listing.